Victor Omer. I represent Anambra Central Senatorial District. Mr. President, uh, distinguished colleagues, um, I want to speak on the election expenses uh, limit. Even though some of our colleagues have spoken on this uh, section of this amendment, um, they have not been able to make specific requests on what should happen to that uh, section. Um, a good law is a law that is uh, easy to enforce, and a good tax is a tax that is easy to collect. In the same vein, these provisions here appear to me to be uh, not for the sake of providing for them. I don't see how these things can be uh, possible. A presidential election limit is five billion. So you're, what, so what you're saying essentially is that you know this has been going on. The president of presidential candidate will cover at six states and the federal capital territory. Uh, that provision has no relationship to the expenses any of these candidates will incur. Again, um, making this provision in the Electoral Act is like making everybody who wins an election to be dragged to court. Uh, I just came out of uh, the tribunal and the court of appeal over my run election that took place on 13 January. And one of the grounds of challenging of my return was that I spent more than approved limits. And the petitioner was busy writing number of campaign vehicles and adding the cost and went to the tribunal with them, making frivolous allegations of monies I gave to people that had no proof. But the, the danger in that is that, Mr. President, you have to defend yourself. You must get a lawyer, pay the legal fees, go to the tribunal, to the Court of Appeal. If it is governorship, you go to the Supreme Court. The cost of litigation on people who are returned in elections in defending their returns will be quite enormous. So, Mr. President, if you ask me, I will say that um, instead of uh, legislating on how much a candidate will spend in an election, we should look at uh, how to strengthen the law against vote buying distributing money to voters on the day of election. People can make it stronger. Uh, the idea of uh, saying don't spend more than 17 million, when you know there's no way you can check it. Money somebody spends in the night or among his uh, party members uh, can never be verified by anybody. So if we put this and uh, say that if a candidate is convicted, you pay 1% of the amount permitted as a limit of campaign expenditure or imprisonment for a term not exceeding 12 months of votes. What we are saying is that uh, with this provision, you can win an election. Somebody will allege that you exceeded the limit and you start defending yourself not to go to jail instead of going to do your work. So in the final analysis, I, I suggest that this section should be expunged completely because uh, I don't see the effect it will have. Even a presidential election, five billion naira, I don't know whether it was a billboard or vehicles. So it doesn't make sense at all. And if we put it in our law, uh, we're just putting it for the sake of putting it there. I know that the intention is to limit the monetization of uh, a democratic process, but there's no way to enforce this thing. So instead of uh, putting a law that will make you be dragged to the court as soon as you are declared the winner, uh, you keep paying the lawyer, running around, calling witnesses, and sometimes spend more than the money you are talking about in defending yourself over a frivolous allegation, which the court and the, at any event will eventually dismiss. So I suggest that this section, section on the um, limit of election expenses should be expunged from these amendments. I so submit. Thank you, Mr. President.